Hello, X1 Man Legacy here, and today I'm going to show you how to open all seven demon doors in Fable 3. That includes the DLC one with Trader's Keep. The first one I'm going to show you how to open is in Brightwall. You're going to have to at least have the family pack unlocked on the Road to Rule. The reason I say that is because the easiest way to open the demon door is to adopt a child. Should only be about five seals, but once you have it, you're gonna wanna start heading over to Bowerstone Industrial. If you've already became king and you turned the factory into an orphanage, all you need to do is run over to the orphanage, go into the very back right room, and adopt a child. After you've decided what child you want to adopt, you just have to select a home for the child, and then go get the child. To make this easier, just find a house that you own close to the Demon Door. Congratulations! I'm certainly joy. This child brings you will be unending. Once you're back in Brightwall, find your child, press left trigger on them to grab them by the hand, and take them running to the demon door. When you get to the demon door, you're going to want to interact with the child and do all of the good expressions that you can do until it says it's ready to open up or whatever. Are you married? I have to do you together to create something beautiful and pure? Just so good. Oh, look at her. She's beautiful. She is absolutely... I cannot find words. I had forgotten what beauty was, but this child... <laughs> she is just... <laughs> I mean, I cannot even... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you both. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's, she's just so innocent, so sweet. I... Oh, it felt good to let it out. Maybe there is still some goodness in the world. Maybe... Oh, I think I heard something. Once inside the demon door, you'll find a house full of skeletons. Just go up the stairs on the right of the house and you'll find a chest containing three summon creature potions and 25 guild seals. The next demon door is in Morningwood, and it requires you to either have a level 5 in melee or ranged skill. Now, another step to this that is commonly believed is true, which isn't, is that you need to have a fully upgraded legendary weapon. For the sake of the video, I actually did fully upgrade a legendary weapon, but you do not have to. Once you have the level 5 skill, just go right to the demon door, pull out that weapon a few times until it glows, and then the demon door should just let you in. Mm -hmm. You are 
lost in many battles. I wonder, have any of those victories had any significance? Countless brigands, chiefs, and generals have made war before you, slaughtering their fellows until the ground became sodden and crimson. Yet despite all this bloodshed, there is no end to conflict. All the questions they fought to settle remain open. War is self-sustaining. War will never end, because there will always be those willing to wage it, unless you kill them. And that will require a massive weapon of supreme devastating power. Have you got anything like that? Come on now, give us a look. Oh, that's what I'm talking about! Take that catastrophic instrument of death in your hands! You should bring an end to all conflict for all time. Well, it's now a foregone conclusion that war will soon be obsolete. So my work here is done. Ha! Huh? Once in Demondor Planet 1, you'll find a chest with a full military suit inside, and a set of summon creature potions. The environment here is actually pretty cool, it actually changes whenever you use this machine, so it's definitely a cool location to be. is at your disposal. There's a new suit in your wardrobe. Oh, I do love the pomp and pageantry of a military uniform. I could do without the associated warfare, but still, very smart look. Excellent, I salute you. Metaphorically speaking, my bursitis is acting up today. Next demon door is going to be in mill fields. This demon door requires you to be fat and ugly. Now, to become fat in Fable, you just need to eat a lot of fatty foods, that is, I don't know, chug a bunch of alcohol, or eat a lot of meat. Probably not fish, but just regular meat like mutton and stuff like that, which you can easily get in Bowerstone Market. After becoming fat, next is to become ugly. To do that, I suggest putting on your pajamas and then changing each article of clothing on the pajamas to a different color and hue, which is easily done inside your sanctuary wardrobe. Special discount to people I really like. Your estate, your majesty, my very. Oh, you won't regret buying that. Oh, no. I'm pleased to serve you. Oh, you won't regret buying that. I trust you're finding everything all right. I always said those pajamas would be a new Sunday. I'm not sure that day is today, but still, I stand by my coffee. This room really is rather nicely appointed as far as wardrobes in Quasi Magical Hero Sanctuaries go. Good choice. Mm -hmm. Well, I am at a loss. You have got to be the most revolting person I have ever seen. No one has followed your example. And is that really any surprise? Perhaps beauty and fashion are arbitrary. Perhaps those in power exploit our fundamental insecurities to exert control. But at least that way, things look pretty. I'll let you in, if only, so I don't have to look at you anymore. Mm. 
Once the demon door opens, you'll find a chest with 40 guild seals inside of it. The next demon door will be found in the city of Aurora. For this one, all you need to do is max out your good or evil purity. Now, the easiest way to do this is just put a bunch of gold into the treasury, which gives you good, or take all of it out of the castle treasury, which will make you evil. About five to six million should do. But once you've done that, the demon door will open, and you will find a slightly randomized legendary weapon that reflects your moral standing. Unfortunately, since it is randomized, I can't for sure tell you what will be inside this. All I know is that I got Avo's Tears Twin Sister which is significantly weaker than the previous Avos tier and doesn't look like anything close to being resembling Avos tier. I mean, it looks like every other sword in the game. I mean, it has a Balverine on it. Why would Avos tier have a Balverine on it? Makes no sense. The next demon door will be located in the Sunset House. To do that, go to the fort inside of Morningwood and then follow this path all the way to the back to get to the Sunset House if you haven't already been there. Once you've arrived at the location, the demon door will want you to be king or queen. Once you're king and queen, the demon door will just open up for you and there will be a chest inside with one million gold. Next up is the Mist Peak Valley Demon Door. For this one, you're going to need a second controller or another friend online playing Fable. The reason you need this is because you either need to marry the other player using the Lover Expression Pack or go through all of the different positive expressions until it opens. Now, for this, I'd recommend maybe going through the Road to Rule and buying some expression packs. I believe the only one you'll actually need to use is the Joker expression pack. But once you do that, you should only really need to do the extremely good expression, the hug expression, and the dance expression. And then with the Joker pack, I was able to do the whistle expression. Now, to do these, you need to interact with the other player. And then you hold A 
until it says release. Once it says release, you just let go and it should count. Now, after you've done the expressions I told you, it should just open. If not, you might need to go through and do the expressions over again. Sometimes it takes a few tries. Make sure you're close to the demon door. But once you have done it, the demon door should just open, and on the inside you'll find another legendary weapon. Again, it is randomized, so you may not get the same one I do. So that's why I'm not going to tell you what ones you can get in it, because they're all completely randomized. You have a new hammer available. Now for the last chest, you will need the Trader's Keep DLC and have become king already. Now, you'll need to go to Ravenscar Keep, which is the DLC island, and progress through all of the quests. Once you've completed all of the quests on the island, you should be able to now get the, all of the pieces of the prisoner suit, which is required to get into the demon door. Now, the first one you're going to need to do is Manhunt, which will open up more of the island. Once you've opened up a bit more of the island, you're going to want to turn left facing the keep and go down the hill and to the right. You're going to want to go through this little rock maze and open the chest. This will have the first piece. Now, if you follow my path, this will lead you to the second piece. All you need to do is go through the garden here, go out this hole in the wall, and then jump off to the right. The chest should be down there next to it. The next piece will be behind the gallows, just the opposite direction of the keep. Now what you want to do is run all the way down here and go behind the gallows and down a path. Now after you're done with the manhunt quest, you want to go to the undeath no sentence quest and you're going to want to follow the path all the way to the end of the cemetery while killing the hollow men. When you get to the end of the cemetery, you'll get to the second to last chest, and then you'll need to complete all of the rest of the quests, if you have not already done so. After you've completed all the quests on the island, you'll get a new quest called Prisoner Management for Beginners. Now, this one gives you full control over, over the prison, and you'll get a key. Now, the key is required to, to get to the final chest. Now, once you have the key, you just run right back out of this room. You take a left, and then you go straight across the hall and open up this cell. It's the second hall on the left. It's the second cell on the left in the left wing. This will give you the last piece of the full prisoner suit. Now, you're going to want to go back to the front of the keep. You want to take the left path looking at the keep. And you want to go back to where that second chest was, but instead of jumping down on the left, on the right, 
you follow the path down on the left. When you get to the bottom, you will find the demon door, and it should just open up right for you. Now, the only thing you're really going to get from this is a prisoner guard suit. But this is also a really cool demon door because it's honestly the map from inside of the sanctuary. I mean, you can even tell by the magnifying glass in the sky that kind of reminds me of a halo at times, just saying. But once you've done this, you have all see all seven demon doors open. And that's about it. Now, if there's anything else you guys want to see in a video, please leave a comment, like, subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Very good. I was going to recommend those trousers. Welcome. to the sanctuary.